If there's one thing we love in America, it's not to keep up with the Joneses, it's to do better than the Joneses. I got a question saying, why should I not invest in a 401k? And I want to answer that for you because there's two key reasons you would not want to invest in a 401k. First, you hate money. I don't like money. I don't like free tax benefits. I don't want it. <laughs> Get this out of here. Second, you're a billionaire. No reason to, not even worth the time. And that's about it. Your 401k is a terrific investment vehicle for you to benefit from legal tax advantages. And if you have the opportunity, you should do it. And even better, if your employer matches your contributions, you should stop watching this video right now, close all your computers, close everything, call up HR and start it right away. So if you want to know what you should have in your 401k, you should have maxed it out every year since you were 22. Most of us didn't do that. That's okay. The next best thing we can do is to take full advantage of it from here on out. Now, of course, you should be saving up for an emergency fund. It's going to take you a while, but I recommend you aim for having six months of minimal expenses in your bank account. Now, when it comes to investing your money, that's money you don't need in the short term, but it's there to grow over the long term, this is what you do. I have something called the ladder of personal finance, and this is how it works. If you get a 401k match, start there and contribute everything you can to hit that match. Next, pay off any debt you've got. Contribute to your Roth IRA if you're eligible. If you still got money left to invest, go back to your 401k and fill that thing up. And then finally, if you've still got money, you're doing very well, create a taxable non-retirement account and keep investing there in low-cost long-term funds. That is how you use your 401k within the ladder of personal finance.